Hi, I'm Dr. Sujata. In this video, uh, we will be talking about the treatment options for glaucoma. When talking about glaucoma treatment, it is important to know that the damage caused by glaucoma cannot be reversed. However, with proper treatment, it can be prevented from causing further damage to the eye. Also, treatment along with regular checkups can slow or prevent further vision loss. The main aim of the treating glaucoma is to bring down the IOP. The treatment includes installation of eye drops, oral medication, laser treatment, surgery or combination of any of these things. Now let's discuss how different treatment option works. Glaucoma is generally controlled with eye drops used as medication. When used every day, eye drops can lower your eye pressure. This they either do by reducing the aqueous fluid made by the eye or aiding the fluid to flow better through the drainage canal or pathway. However, they do come with a few side effects including itching, redness, blur vision and allergies. You may reduce the side effect by preventing the drops from entering your nose or mouth and this can be done by closing the eye for a minute or two after putting the eye drops. Uh, you are supposed to inform your doctor of every side effect you experience and all other medications you are taking. Glaucoma is a lifelong condition which is why you will need to take your daily drops for life. Oral medications. If eye drops do not bring down the required level of eye pressure, you may prescribe some oral medication. This can improve the drainage or slow down the creation of fluid in the eye. Oral medications too can have some side effects such as frequent urination, depression, tingling in the fingers and toes, kidney stones and stomach upset. Never change or stop taking the medication on your own and without the doctor knowing. Laser treatment. Laser surgeries help aqueous to drain from the eye. Laser surgery can be one of the following. Trabeculoplasty. This type of surgery is done in people with open angle glaucoma. It can be used instead of or in addition to medication. The surgeon uses a laser to make the drainage angle better for the fluid to drain. This helps the fluid to flow out properly and thus reduces eye pressure. Iridotomy. Iridotomy is for people with angle closure glaucoma. Ophthalmologists will use a laser to make a tiny hole in your iris which then helps fluid to flow to the drainage angle or pathway. Cyclophotocoagulation is yet another laser surgery for glaucoma. Here the areas of the middle layer of the eye are treated for lowering fluid protection. Laser treatment may be accompanied by the use of eye drops. The results are vary but may last up to 5 years. Repeated laser treatment may also be done later. Surgery is done to create a new drainage channel for the fluid or aqueous humor into the eye to leave. Now, trabeculectomy or filtering surgery. Here the surgeon starts by creating a tiny flap in the sclera, the white part of the eye. She or he also creates a bubble like a pocket in the conjunctiva which is called a filtration bleb. This bleb is hid under the eyelid and usually can't be seen. Now the fluid to be drained leaves the eye through the flap and fills into the bleb. Here it is absorbed by the surrounding tissue which then lowers the eye pressure. Drainage tubes slash devices. The eye surgeon implants a tiny drainage tube in the eye. This glaucoma drainage implant works by sending the fluid into a collection area or reservoir. This reservoir is created beneath the conjunctiva. Fluid is hence absorbed by the surrounding blood vessels. Cataract surgery. In some people, cataract surgery can help lower eye pressure. Surgery involves the removal of natural lens of the eye which creates more space for the fluid to leave the eye. There are certain minimally invasive glaucoma surgeries as well. One of the minimally invasive glaucoma surgery techniques may be chosen by your doctor for your eyes. MIGS require less immediate post-operative care and are less risky than trabeculectomy or surgery through a drainage tube. MIGS are often combined with cataract surgery. Surgery can be a more invasive way to control glaucoma but it also helps to achieve better eye pressure which is not possible with eye drops or lasers. Surgical options for glaucoma are either trabeculectomy or uh, glaucoma drainage devices. 
In cases of lens induced glaucoma, cataract surgery itself can treat the glaucoma. So, open angle glaucoma is usually treated with eye drops. If the laser trabecular opacity does not work, then we can go for surgical option as trabeculectomy. Whereas, acute angle closure glaucoma is usually treated with a laser procedure. Congenital glaucoma requires surgery. Also, acute angle closure is an ophthalmic emergency that requires urgent treatment to reduce the eye pressure. Some lifestyle modification can also help. Eat a healthy diet, exercise safely, drink more fluids and live, limit caffeine intake. Treating glaucoma not only requires a good surgeon but you also need to follow all his or her instructions. Only then you can gain control over the disease and make sure you go for regular checkups and ask your doctor all questions you have in mind. To know more about glaucoma, refer to the links mentioned in the description below.